invigorated now, ready to go. Here we go, second titration problem, which is problem number six on your sheet. You should have that sheet in front of you. Your shoe Uh, in a titration experiment, 20.4 milliliters of 0.883 molar formic acid, formic acid is HCOOH, neutralizes 19.3 milliliters of barium hydroxide. What's the concentration of the barium hydroxide solution? So this question is asking a little different question from the previous problem. In the previous problem, we had to figure out the molecular weight of the acid. This time we're trying to figure out the concentration. What was the concentration of the barium hydroxide? And this is very much like a typical um, titration problem, that you'd have to figure out the concentration of this solution. Now, we know what the solution is, but we don't know what, what the concentration is. What's its strength? So that's very typical. You'll have to do that in your lab for next week, as you will. So we're trying to figure this out. Okay, so if I want to figure out the concentration of the barium hydroxide, I'm going to have to know two things. Dos thingos. I'll have to know how many moles of the barium hydroxide that we had that got neutralized. Okay, now, mm, let's see, how many moles of barium hydroxide got neutralized? I don't see that there. No, no, I, I know I know the barium hydroxide got neutralized, I said so, but I don't know how many moles of it got neutralized. Oh, no. And also, what else do I have here? What else do I have here? Okay, it does neutralize 19.3 milliliters of the barium hydroxide, so I do have that. I do have the liters. 19.3 milliliters is 0 0.0193 liters, 0 0.0193 liters. So I have that of the barium hydroxide. Remember, we're trying to find the barium hydroxide concentration. This is the barium hydroxide. Okay, so I have the amount of liters of barium hydroxide that I used, but I don't have how many moles of the barium hydroxide that got, that got neutralized. So how am I going to get that? Remember from the last video and been mentioning it before earlier, titration is all about how many hydrogens you need to neutralize how many hydroxides. So moles of each are very important. So if I can, if I know the moles of the acid that I used, then I know that the moles of the barium hydroxide that got neutralized, I'll know that. So let's just calculate how many moles of the acid that I used. And we can do that from the information provided. Okay. Let's see. Well, we're going to give you again. Can I try to Okay. Uh, 20.4 milliliters of the acid. And it gave me the concentration. So the concentration of the acid. And again, here's our, our, our concentration molarity. So the acid concentration is 0.883. know that we have 20.4.0204 liters of it, I can figure out how many moles of the acid that I used that were needed to neutralize that, that base. Looking pretty easy, huh? Yeah. So we'll multiply those and we will get how many moles of acid were used. So the moles of the acid is 0.883 times 0 0.0204. Okay, we used 0 0.018, 0 0.018 moles of the acid. Now I know what you're ready to do. You're just ready to jump right in and say, bam, I got this. I got you. Uh, yeah, we're going to take that and we're going to take that number, moles of the hydrogen, and put it up here because we know that that's the amount that, that neutralizes the moles of the hydroxide. We'll put that right here. Boom, boom. And we'll be done. No, wrong. Uh uh. This. Arr. Here's the thing. The barium hydroxide, and it is a strong base. Okay, barium's out of group two, so that's strong. The barium hydroxide is going to have to split into two parts. All right, two parts. That means that for every one of these that breaks down, you get two hydroxides. Okay, that means that we are going to have to have twice as many hydrogens because we have to deal with two hydroxides. What that really means is that we are going to have only 0 0.09 moles of the barium hydroxide. 0 0.09 moles of the barium hydroxide because 0 0.09 produces 0 0.018 hydroxides 
to balance out that hydrogen. Okay, one more quick time. That the concentration of the barium hydroxide must be only one half the concentration of the hydrogen because it produces two hydroxides per breakdown. So twice the hydroxide. All right, so only 0 0.019 is the concentrate or the amount of moles of the barium hydroxide, and that produces twice as much, 0 0.018 moles of barium hydroxide, which was neutralized by the acid. So we don't put this in here, we put that in here. And if you go ahead and do that, you put that in there, you end up getting your concentration, and that concentration should come out to be 0.4 six six molar that's how we do it i love it yes